We return to FTL for another run as the Castrol Cruiser. This is one of the only ships that I haven't beaten the game with. I've done with everything else except for the Stealth Cruiser. So we're actually going back in time today to play as, uh, uh, well, I just lost my crew names, so let's rename them again. We have Todd, we have Howard, and we have, uh, we unfortunately don't have enough room for all of Bethesda, so we're just going to do Beth. It's good beginning weapons on this ship, though. If we get another three burst lasers, that's basically a dub. I really enjoy just shooting a lot of lasers at the enemy. Oh, we have to make... Uh, let's make Howard into a man. And we'll make Beth into a woman. There we go. And start. Oh, we are starting in what appears to be a nebula. Good that we won't have to remain in the nebula. We had good RNG the last time, didn't we? Good RNG we had, folks. Again, we're streaming this, so I will be getting... Backseated. I'm gonna switch over the order of these two because I want Artemis to lose power if anything loses power first. Uh, I will go in for... Let's shoot Artemis at their shields and then we'll wait on the burst laser just to see if we can get that through. Do big damage to the enemy's ships. Uh, or their guns, rather. Here we go. See how the shields do. We did get a hit in there, so let's go straight for their guns so that we don't take damage. Cool, we basically just have foregone damage for the rest of this fight. Unfortunately, it took two damage already. That's honestly quite a lot. I will just keep gunning for their shields because they're probably going to go back and try to repair them. And... Got a miss on the last one there. I could shoot an Artemis if I need an emergency shot, but I think we'll be okay without it. Just one more burst. I want to try to conserve the missiles. Also, Reminiscent Edge, thank you very much for the sub. I appreciate that. Let me just turn on notifications again fast. We, we, Hooray, we won the first fight. Yeah, we didn't die. All right, we're good. We got two scrap recovery arms the last fight. Let me just go ahead and save my crew's positions. And then we'll send everyone into the med bay to heal and be restored. Now, I want to save up money again, as I did in the last one. We actually have a pretty decent set of weapons with this ship. Being the first ship in the game, it is decent. It is decent. Um, is this game similar to Project Zomboid? Actually, I think FTL and Project Zomboid came out... I know that... I suppose that was like an ironic sort of comment. But yeah, like actually, actually, as it happens, FTL and Zomboid... I guess they kind of do have a, a bit in common, don't they? Like, FTL is about... Well, I mean, they're kind of like roguelike experiences. Zomboid is... Well, it came out at a time when roguelikes were just kind of getting started. I'm actually going to skip that store. Only because we just won't have enough scrap to buy anything. And it's kind of useless to go back. Because we'll just keep revisiting locations. So let's just ignore it. We won't even have enough money for the good stuff that I like. So... I'm upset and confused and my day is ruined. Um, I think we'll have to go through this nebula to get to the exit this time. So let's kind of make our way around these stars and then like go one, two, three, four, five, I'm thinking, then six or seven and something like that. And then we'll be done with it. Edic Brewer, thank you very much for the five months. Uh, we will never send one of our crew over to the slavers. That is immoral. You do not betray your friends. Desperately searching for scrap through violence. Basically the story of FTL. Yeah, honestly, Zomboid and that do have that in common. We are about to be hit with a missile, it seems. So that is confusing and ups Ooh, this is bad. We actually missed with our uh, Artemis. Okay, but we did take down their shields a bit. Not bad. I would say that they're kind of... Uh, yikes. If you get hit in your engines early on, that's basically a death sentence. Okay, cool. We did take that out. Let's take down their guns. I don't want to get hit with another rocket. Uh, they are going to send us a crew member. I'm honestly going to take this because it's kind of tricky to get a crew member. And this early on in the game, very worthwhile. Very worthwhile. Uh, we have to send Howard back. <laughs> I'm going to keep reading the names Todd and Howard throughout the rest of the game. This is a cause for great excitement and celebration. Nice. Shiro Gain, thank you very much for the prime. Will the fourth crewman be called Asda? Unfortunately, I'm actually unable to name, or rather rename, the crew members mid-flight. Which is too bad. Um, 
upsetting, honestly. One, you go one, two, three, four, five. Eh, that might actually be too much. Too much. Let's go here, then we can always go back there and backtrack it. This gives us a lot of options. Pretty sure you can. How do you do it? Uh, wait a second. Delay the rebels. Uh, no, let's just fight more people. Yeah, fight people wherever you can. Just get into as many fights as possible. Ship menu to rename. Well, I need, I'm in danger right now. Maybe I will be able to rename this one Ezda after the fight. It, I agree, it would be good if I could rename that one. Just so that I don't forget about Fallout and stuff. Man, I keep missing with these missiles. This is actually upsetting and confusing. Okay, we can turn off the oxygen. There we go. Uh, let's destroy their guns. This is a decent ship that we're going up against. I think I'm actually going to shoot it with a missile. Uh, okay, good. And then we will prevent their escape. Or they're probably working on their shields right now, so let's... Oh, no. Uh, I am going to shoot Artemis at the engines just to try to prevent them from escaping. All we need is one more hit. Good. Kind of a waste of missiles, but... Uh, missiles aren't really the worst thing to lose. We have a good... Um, Honestly, we have a decent ship this time, so I'm not too worried about that. Okay, I'm saying we go here, and then we go to the store, because we're going to need something for our trouble. But hopefully we'll get some good RNG now. Okay, again, never surrender to slavers, but maybe we'll get some really good early crew. This could be a nice way to level up our team before we get going. Hey, Kaltorius, thanks very much for the very kind words. I hope you're having a good day as well. My day is going splendiferously. Rename from the crew page, which is on the ship menu. Oh, I keep forgetting that. I'll do it right after this fight. I'll rename Caldwell. Although Caldwell is somewhat of a, like, a spacey name. Now, we've gotten really unlucky with these, uh... With these lasers, guys. They keep shooting rockets at us. Although I got another crew member. Not bad, honestly. I would have to say that this is not that bad. Let's go put you on the doors after you're unstunned. <laughs> Johnson. Oh, we can rename them. Thank you. John. Maybe we'll keep him as John Ezda. I like how they give them the last name. Beth. Okay, so we have Beth Ezda. Uh, what should we name this one? Something else Bethesda themed this time. Help me think about that. Help me think about that. We've got a store coming up too. Now, you know, unfortunately, we didn't really get any scrap for the store, but I'm happy with that. Star. Game. <laughs> we could just rename him Game. We have, we get another one. We could rename them that. Uh, game. <laughs> game Studios. <laughs> Todd Howard, Bethesda Game. All we need is one more crew member, and then I'll be happy permanently. Okay, I'm thinking having a human on... Which systems we need repaired fast if if they go awry if something goes awry with them? I think Beth we keep on the guns. Dragonborn. <laughs> Star Rim. So many options. I could keep replaying through as Bethesda themed characters over and over again. I think we leave game in shields. Hmm. Todd is the pilot, Howard is in charge of the engines, Beth is in charge of the guns, Ezda is in charge of... What are you in charge of? Yeah, why don't you go over to the doors? I think that that's the safest bet for you. So I will save those crew positions. We will power back on Artemis in a moment. There we go. Okay, then let's jump again to... Uh, actually, we could go here and then to the store and avoid that nebula entirely. Or we might even be able to hit two more. Let's go with that. Hmm. Aid the civilian ship. Yes, we must always aid the civilians because they are civilians and they are good. Uh, I'm not going to use my last missile, though. Let's just save it for when we're really, really in trouble. So we went through missiles pretty fast. We don't want to spend all of our money just on reusing missiles. So we'll try to get, like, renewable weapons. It's more ecologically friendly, right, after all? Hull at 75%. We've already taken a lot of damage, though. Let's just shoot one at their guns. Okay, cool. And now we will prevent their untimely escape. Jesus. 
Fortunately, their missiles are not doing too particularly much damage to us, though. Okay, and we did get, oh, two missiles back. Very exciting, big day on the ship. Uh, I'm thinking if we go here, one, two, three, four, five. That's going to be our best course for an exit. And we'll still get a lot of money for the star, uh, store. Attack the automated. These are rather easy battles, so we'll just do this. Did I open the box of Magic the Gathering cards? Why, yes, I did. <laughs> After my uh, untimely addiction to ma Magic the Gathering has prevented me from doing anything else in life. <laughs> Why do we avoid nebulas? So that we can learn to pick ourselves back up. Um, no, I don't, I don't know. Why do we avoid nebulas again? Nebulas are just full of annoying things. Rockets are fiery flying things, Jimmy. Jim, Jame, my boy. As Hugh, the dad, and Jimmy Neutron once said. Man, we really didn't get very much scrap from that. What a waste. I'm upset. Yeah, there's stealth mode. You can get kind of weird stuff happen. Things go awry in them. I don't like them. Um, they don't really, they just contain more danger and difficulty than good stuff, so it's not really worth it. The Distress Beacon would be good, but if you get one good store, it's basically game. Uh, so let's see if we can find it. Uh, so far I don't like anything here. Mm, chain Laser. Chain Laser might not be bad for that. Laser Charger can charge two times, giving it an additional projectile. I think we had a bigger one before. Anti-Bio Beam is tricky, is tricky. Uh, dual shot laser increases in cooldown, decreases after three volleys, it takes only seven seconds to charge. Not bad, kind of like Vulcan from the last time. Um, or we could get FTL Jammer. No, not really worth it. Or Stealth Weapons. Uh, I don't really love any of these. I could save my money. Should I take the chain laser? Amazing in longer fights, that's true. How much power? It takes only two power. Burst laser also takes only two power. I do like the idea. Um, yeah, I, I think I think 65 is cheap, and it's also the required amount of power that I want. Um, chain is okay. Yeah. Hmm. Not really my favorite. Yeah, I like stealth weapons the best, too. Should we just go for, like, the end game weapon every time here? To shoot at... at will while cloaked. Biobeam is special. I think that this is very good for us right now, but I don't think it's good in the long term. Yeah, I'm thinking, though, that the, the smart people in chat are going with... The smartest boys are going with stealth weapons. Although we don't have a stealth system, we're definitely going to want a stealth system before the game ends. Just because it's, like, essential for not getting hit by missiles. We're doing it. Uh, and then the short-term boy in me is going... Let's just buy upgrades for the chip, ship rather than get the chain laser. I feel like that's going to keep us alive in fights. Maybe I'm kind of an idiot, but... It's going to translate to the late game better. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Let's go to the distress signal after we've upgraded the ship just slightly because we didn't get the kind of luck that I wanted. But I think we will survive. Um, that's good. I'm taking one power off of this and putting it onto here, and then we'll put that power that we would use for Artemis onto that. There we go. I mean, our ship is really well defended against lasers. Uh, not really against missiles, but we just be very careful when it comes to missiles. Uh, and I'm happy with that. Let's go send down an NG crew. Good. Good. We got another 20. We get another power bar. Put that back onto our weapons. We've had a decent first galaxy. Even without our system. Even without crazy good RNG. It wasn't crazy bad RNG. But we survived. We will fight the Federation ship. See, we are so much better than everyone because now we're like one shield level above other people. And that's because we're better than them. Here we go. Because we took our time right here, it's going to save us a lot of time somewhere in the near future. See, their lasers... Their lasers can't possibly get through our shields. They shoot only one pew at us. Pew! It goes ineffectually, glancing off the side of our ship. 
like rain on an umbrella. Uh, unfortunately, we are not really doing too particularly well offensively either. Although, see, I don't even have to worry about taking down their guns. We can just go straight for the shields, then straight for the engine to prevent them from escaping. Don't even need to waste a missile. But we could have the missile in reserve in case if they decide to make their escape. You know, in some nefarious fashion. Uh, although we have to be careful about them jumping. Okay, yes, I will... Here, hang on a second. I'm shooting their pilot with one rocket just because I don't want them to escape. Okay, there we go. Now we're fine. Pew! Gone. Dead. Forever. Uh, okay, cool. We might even... <gasps> oh! Oh! Okay. This is a complete crew now. Todd Howard, Bethesda Game Studios. It's like a complete sentence. All right, I like the NG on some other type of task, like the engine, hence NG. Um, honestly, you aren't that experienced, Howard, at like the engine itself. I prefer having NGs on these main systems just because they can repair them fast if anything goes awry. Uh, and we can just send in a human. The humans really don't excel at anything in particular. I think shields and engines are the biggest just because they prevent our ship from taking damage. I'm willing to forego a little bit of the experience that we had there. Okay, let's go resave the crew positions. Honestly, don't don't really even like to get this big a crew this early, but it's fine. Search among stores to see if someone will sell to you. You come across a large trade station. Uh, okay, cool. Event money, cool, nice, very good. Uh, we can completely avoid going to rebel-controlled or hostile sectors. If we go along this route, I'd say that's pretty good. Unfortunately, we have these three nebula systems in the middle. Uh, yeah, just because we get so many good NG controlled or like civilian controlled at the end. The nebulas are decent. I would rather have it than the hostile ones just because they tend to be, well, very hostile, as you can probably tell. I don't like the nebula systems either, though. Give them the fuel. Um... Yeah, we'll see what we get this. Uh, actually, a decent decent um, trade. Upgraded reactor for a little bit of fuel. We are kind of low on fuel, though. I don't like that. Uh, we need some scrap. Our ship has very good defense. Okay, we'll go into an asteroid field because we have two shields, and I think that's fine. Um, I'm going to just use up a little bit more of our rockets right here because I don't see the sense in like continuing with the way we've been living. Uh, see, we still have a shield, but they could potentially be taken out by the asteroids. The very deadly asteroids. Okay, nice. I don't think we need to use up any more rockets. Probably just the uh, asteroids will take them out from here. Uh, don't repair it in time. Okay, they're powering up their FTL. They're trying to escape. I don't think that they'll be able to get away in time, though. Yeah, we're fine. Ah, the asteroid fields. Very exciting. Not really in too much danger, honestly. Something about the asteroid field animation that just makes me... Like, full of gaiety. It's such nice pixel art, isn't it? We could go along here, but we get a lot of options if we go to this one. I say we take the options. Hmm... Yeah, that is true. We do need combat crew members, though humans are kind of good all around, but they're also kind of bad at everything. I'll take this nine fuel. I mean, we're giving away three missiles, but my strategy doesn't, like, totally depend on missiles anymore anyway. Uh, I don't really like the locations of these stores. I think we'll go one, two, three, four, five, or something like that. Uh, depending upon what we get in the first store, because, it, like I said, a good store can really save you. And we got nothing. That was very unlucky. Now let's see. What do they have in here? Uh, I do like hacking. We have exactly enough money for hacking. We don't have any other use for our drone parts. I gener generally don't buy drone systems. I'll take it. This is a good thing right now. Uh, I think I'm going to go to one other place then see if there's anything good in the store. Though I probably don't think I'll be able to use it for any reason. Unfortunately. Uh, this is not good right now. They have like an ionizer outside of their ship. 
Wait, was there a hal... I didn't... Did I miss a halberd? Situational, situational, yes. Exactly my thoughts, exactly my thoughts, too. We could hack them. Uh, hacking. I kind of waited too long for this fight, honestly, already. Good. It glances off ineffectually. Uh, let's go ahead and just hack their... Honestly, their guns, because I just can't have them, like... Okay, now we will shoot at their engine. Oh, whoops! I forgot that that was a defensive drone. I thought that was an eye and I. Oh no, some of them are drones that fend off. Sorry, I got the wrong type of drone. Honestly, this is not a bad offer for what we're missing right now, so I'm going to take it. We've got some good surrender offers here so far. Let's go ahead and see what's in this store. I doubt I'll be able to buy anything, but I don't have much else to do. Ooh, flat gun mark one. Uh, do we even have enough to pay for it, though? Ooh, scrap recovery arm. Not really worth selling some of my stuff, though. I like Artemis. I'm fine with it. Everyone likes Flak 1. I don't have any problem with it. If I had the money right now, I would buy it. Scanners, though. Long-range scanners. Uh, we might be able to get some scanners. I kind of like the stealth weapons better, because we're going to be using stealth as we go. Hey, Survival Samuel. Thank you very much for the very kind words. Hope you've been enjoying the videos. Flak is dope, although I feel like I would need an early flak. I just didn't have enough money for this store. I like what I've got or what I will have. Um, could I potentially improve? Nah, yeah, I already had the burst laser mark too, so I'm just willing to stay with that. Let's close, and then we will probably jump, but I think I'm just going to be a boring person here and repair. I might as well just repair the whole thing. I don't love to do that, but I'm kind of stuck just because we didn't have much money. But we did get hacking, and I think that's the... That's the the big bonus here, really, for us. Ooh, we could barely get to this distress beacon, then maybe get two more in before the exit, I think. Eh, maybe. We got a drone that we could sell as well. Um... I will give them the fuel, because sometimes that means we get a decent update. Uh, no, they just scanned the rest of the galaxy. That was useless. Oh, well. Sometimes they would have given us something of actual, like, monetary value. Fortunately, we got a good... We've been getting good trades, though. Good trades we have. Good trades we have. Augmentations can, indeed, decide the whole game. Uh, not willing to give up that much fuel. We don't really need that many drone parts. Uh, okay, but again, we're only on Nebula number two. I'd say we're doing, like, average, decently good. Nothing crazy good. Uh, but I intend to continue depending on either flak or laser for my ship uh, weaponry for the rest of the run. I hate nebulas. There's only three places that aren't nebulae in this sector, unfortunately. The one thing about the Kestrel that's a little unfortunately boring about this ship is the fact that uh, it doesn't really... Well, it doesn't really do anything interesting. It's just, like, kind of a jack-of-all-trades. It's not particularly good at any one thing. I mean, it has decent weapons, but... Um, okay, we'll f just fight everyone we can. Fight everyone we can. Uh, now, fortunately, though, we can decide between using up missiles or drone parts. So we're a little bit lower on missiles. I think what I'm going to do... ...is hack... I'm going to hack them. We will begin by hacking their weapons system. And then, ooh, that's nice. I didn't even realize we had that ability in our hacking to see how much they are charged up. Whoops, I let them shoot at us. But fortunately, I didn't let them shoot their missile at us. Okay, now we've taken down the shields. Now let's actually shoot for the weapons bay to hopefully prevent them from doing that. Um, you know, we could charge up Artemis as well. I don't know why we avoided that. Uh, ooh, um... I don't really know if there's going to be any oxygen issue there, so let's just shoot them and then find out later. Actually, you know what? You could... Check if there's a fire there, sir. Okay, I don't want them to get away, so I'm going to fire one... Yes, one missile at them. 
one exciting missile. There we go. Good. Okay, now I'll power down the missile, divert it to the mid bay, and there we go. We've made short work of most of these ships, but I don't feel like we've won by a lot. You know what I mean? Yeah, Kestrel is good because it starts with Burst Laser too. I do like that about it. It has a good, like, very solid, reliable, and effective missile, and also the best gun in the game, in my opinion. Burst Laser Mark II, my favorite. Unless if you're going for the crazy scrap gun, uh, or flat gun strategy, in which case that is more fun. Yeah, it has four guns. That's as many as four guns. <laughs> Uh, heavily damaged Federation ship is a... Uh, before you take on the fade into the demo. Attempt to follow and help them. Oh, we have Aisha. Jesus Christ, we've just been getting thrown crew members. Okay, uh... I need... Another crew member name for Aisha. I'm gonna go by default with, like, maybe 16. 16. Oh, actually, that makes it into a complete sentence. Yeah, that that is true. Yeah, uh, TM. <laughs> DLC. Uh, this one really sorry. Um, hmm. Is cool. <laughs> cool. Hmm. 76. 69. When are they gonna come out with Fallout 69? TM. <laughs> it's like a... Wait, that makes Todd Howard into the... Oh, wait, but... <laughs> is Todd Howard part of the trademark because he is so iconic as a member of their studio? Ah. Oh. Hang on a moment. Laser. Oh no, our entire ship sucks now. Uh, we don't really need evasion. Hang on a second. We need shield. We need extra shield and now... Ooh, this is bad. We lost like all of our power. Um... Uh, I don't like that at all. Okay, I guess I am going to have to divert some away from shields. I don't like this. This is a bad fight for me. Okay, put a little bit more into evasion. Oh, whoops, we don't have oxygen. Yeah, we do need, we do need that. Oh, wait a minute, what is TM doing? You can be in charge of, um... Helping out with the shields if anything goes awry in there. Yeah, I'm happy with this, more or less. Whee, their guns are down. Okay, let's turn off their engines and then we'll go for more. Do we really need oxygen? That's valid. Well, if we didn't have... If we had a Lanius crew, we could go without oxygen. I think I'm just going to go straight for the guns. I don't think they're going, going to escape here. Hmm... We Auto scout is dead. Uh, actually got a decent amount of scrap from that. We've got a store here. I'm thinking if we go... Let's try to get a big preparation in for this store. So I'm thinking we'll go like... Um, we go one... I guess we could just get in one, really, before this store. We could go two... Nah, because we don't really want to go backtrack. Yeah, we'll go just one. All right, hopefully we'll get something good at this store. Oh, we could try to hack this drone. Ah, that didn't work. Um, okay, let's repower all of our systems. Fortunately, we have everything back. Uh, Artemis will go for... This is actually a rather deadly ship. Uh, wait, no, I take all of that back. It is not deadly at all. We are very safe. They have only one thing shooting at us here, and then that's a pike beam. Oh, and that's not even a beam thing. That's like just a... This ship is completely innocuous. We could probably farm it for experience, right? Wait a second. Can we farm our shields in this fight? No, because I don't think we'll even lose a single layer of shield. Oh, well, it would have been nice if we could have farmed this for experience. We could farm it for, like, shooty experience. Um, except that eventually it will repair itself and try to escape. So, alas, we cannot do that. Um... Would have been nice, because when you can repair, or, uh, put back up your shields faster, that's pretty worthwhile, but... It was not meant to be. Oh well. Yeah, it's literally unable to hurt us from the start, indeed. 
Some of these fights you can farm for experience if you can prevent the ship from escaping. Ooh, a small bomb. Crew damage, 30. Um, possible effect, fire. The teleporting bomb can be good, although there are certain things that it can't get past to, I believe, if I'm not mistaken about that. Uh, I could backtrack, but I think 126 is a good amount of money. Yeah, it's like a large bomb, but small. Well, we have a lot of things that we could, um, sell here. That is good. Uh, I could sell my combat drone, because I'm never into using them. I don't really like using the small bomb. Drone recovery arm, uh, ooh, no, I thought that was scrap recovery arm, never mind. Nope, 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 nope. Mind control can be useful for the last fight, but I think that there are better things and it's more widely available, so I think I'm not going to buy it. Uh, fire drone is kind of interesting, but I'm not going for a drone strategy, so no. Uh, 12 fuel isn't exactly a lot, but it's really not not a lot either, so uh, what do I do there? I think I'm just going to leave it. Drone, I mean, some of the funnier strategies are good, but you have to really lean into them hard to start, so I'm just going to avoid doing them. Honestly, a third shield would be pretty OP right here. Uh, we have so many crew members, too. Let's go ahead and save those. Upgrading the doors could be... Right now, I think I would rather upgrade our um, evasion, but I want to see if there's any more stores around here, because last time we had, like, two stores, one right next to the other, and I just horribly regretted my decision, so... Let's go ahead and see if there's another store, because we're not in any real danger. Oh, we have intruders! Oh, no! Todd Howard has been brainwashed! How could you, Todd? Well, I think we'll just leave him in there. Oh, we should probably upgrade our pilot seat. I'm going to shoot them with one Artemis as well. Or we could shoot their mind control department. And let's hack it as well. I feel like that's not really necessary, actually. Too late now. I don't actually know how to cancel a hacking. It just occurred to me. Okay, stop mind controlling us. Bad. Unacceptable. Good. Mind control someone your own size. There we go. You bully. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Um, I think their mind control has basically been permanently... Oh, Jesus Christ. We've been ionized. That reminds me in such a timely manner that we need... Uh, we need to get the autopilot for evasion, because if your pilot gets screwed at any point, you can really mess up the evasion on your entire ship, and you're just super susceptible to basically anything. Because right now we have 0% evasion, which is bad. 20, back up to 20. See what a big difference that makes? But look, there was another store there. So, me thinks we go here, and then to the store, and then we're going to have to do a little bit of backtracking around. Or we could visit the store at the end. Honestly, might be better. Because, yeah, if we go here, then we'll have to backtrack. Yeah, let's go around to these three, then we'll go to the store, then exit. I'm taking a big risk here, but if we do get a good store, it's basically, uh... Okay, here we go. We will fight these people. Um... Ooh, our slug is showing us where the enemy crew is. Very exciting, very exciting. Although we've also lost power to almost all of our ship's systems. Oh my god, four power bars off. Um, I gotta take these guys out fast. They do have a burst laser. Yeah, they could they could do some damage to us. It's not okay. I'm not really willing to use up another drone. I think that hacking is just even better than our missiles. Oh, we've been resisted! Hmm. The bomb that does fire damage. The fire's on the outside. Hmm. This is why I dislike nebulas, guys. I... I can't see, or I don't get power in most of my ship when we get into fights. Although it seems to not really affect the enemy ships that much. I'm, I'm not sure if it does, like if they don't have power. Ooh, this is a great offer. That is a high number of missiles. Wow. Engine crew must be, hang on a second. What happened there? Oh, we have our engine. Ungen. Our engine is offline. 
Uh, I kind of feel like I need more power bars, but just the possibility of getting a great store here is stopping me from doing that. So let's go to... I think we'll have enough time for one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, yeah. Yeah, we'll have a chance to decide anyway. Yeah, not the engine. <laughs> Don't destroy our ship's engine. Uh, <laughs> it's like bimness. It's one of my favorite memes. Bimness. Such a silly word. I love the way that we can just use one hacking drone part in any of these fights, and that's, like, that's enough. That is acceptable. Let's go for their weapons again, because these people have missiles. I think that's just, like, a good rule of thumb. Alright, wait until their yellow bars are up. Now we can hit them with a burst laser in the weapons area. Okay, good. Yes, a fire has begun. Uh, I think Artemis will use to take out their lasers. I mean their shields. I uh, just the temptation to say the word laser is well, it's tempting. Uh, they're gonna blow up anyway, and this isn't really that great an offer. We do kind of need the fuel, but I still think we could do better if we just wait a little bit longer. Uh, am I going to wait for them to? No, I don't think that they'll get away if we do this. Yeah, we're fine. Good, we didn't waste a missile. Okay, eh, 33 scrap, about the same as what we would have gotten from them anyway. So let's go ahead back to the store. We had a decent run of it. We now have a lot of money. I think we've done everything that is in our power. Uh, not what I wanted. Flak 1, though. We did get a Flak 1, and we got cloaking. Okay, this is not a bad... It could have been better, but I'm willing to take Flax instead of, uh... Instead of burst lasers, I just want to shoot the enemy ship with a lot of stuff. I think that's going to be our best bet here. Let's go ahead with cloaking and flak one, and then maybe later on, if we could get the um, the backup battery, would also be nice. Yeah, we must take the flak. It is like it behooves us thus to take the flak. Let's also take the backup battery because this is a good power up. It's very worth. Um, Reverse ion shield, eh, not that worth it, not that worth it, not that worth it. Okay, I'm willing to live with that. And then I think the last 16, we should spend that on some fuel, just because if we wind up derelict in space, we're going to pay for it heavily. Oh, I just got an achievement. Full arsenal, have 11 systems installed on the Kestrel Cruiser at one time. Surprising that I didn't actually have that before, I guess, but whatever. Uh, okay, now we can start to focus on just upgrading the ship itself. We need to put a little bit more money into our weapon system. Um, I like my drone parts. I'm just going to ignore the station. We'll Hello go to the next fire. sector. Ooh, you know, I'm willing to go to this mantis-controlled sector if it means we get three civilian-controlled sectors after this. Also, Henry with all the underscores. Thank you very much for the seven months, my friend. I hope you're doing well. Cloaking and about Yeah, we have so many ships that we unfortunately don't have the money to power up right now. It's like having a cool car, but no gas. Uh, unfortunately, I think that our... Ooh, we encountered this guy in an asteroid field. Very exciting. Mm, okay, I'm going to divert some power away from our engine to go toward cloaking. Just because when they shoot that missile at us, now we can avoid rushing so much. And just use our cloaking system. This is a rather early cloaking system. Okay, I'm going for cloaking now. Cool, sweet. Alright, I think we basically won this fight. Not bad, not bad. And the flak has good charge up time as well. Uh, just as soon as we get some scrap, we can finally power our ship. <laughs> it's like having a Tesla, but no battery for the Tesla. <laughs> Ooh, man, the asteroid field is going to take them out at this rate. <laughs> that was basically a free dub. Ooh, 47 scrap. That's fantastic. But we can't spend it right now because we're unfortunately in an asteroid field. Oh, I totally forgot about my backup battery in that fight, too. Uh, I don't think I'm ready for a store yet. I'll take another one in a minute. This is a pretty nice store lineup. We can go one, two, three, four, and then get our way out of there. Something like that. Yeah, no shield in asteroids. How did they even make it to that fight to begin with? 
I just feel so safe inside of my um my cloaking now. It's just so generous and and good. Hmm. The idea of a space slug named Logan Johnson. Yeah, that does sound like kind of a badass slug name, you know? I think I'm not worried about the lasers. I'm more worried about the ions from this ship. We've already taken down their ions. But now, no, no fear. No fear anymore. Ah, this is great. We are so good at defending ourselves that we don't even need to worry about... Um, like anything else. And if they start to escape, then we'll just shoot Artemis at their uh, engines. And that's basically our way out of here. Good, we're not wasting missiles from fight to fight anymore. We're not burning so many resources just to, like, stay afloat. Uh, actually, go for the guns. Good, yeah, I don't want them to hit us with that ion. We are so well defended here, it's just insane. Oh, just my nice layer of defenses. Ah, it feels good. It feels nice. Look, they aren't even running away. They probably could at this point. But we still haven't gotten the message. These people really don't give up. Mantises are tough, man. I had a whole crew of mantis boarders. Except for when they all got kidnapped accidentally, they were great. <laughs> like, just that one instance of them all getting kidnapped was pretty bad, though. Not gonna lie. Uh, ooh, two stores. Oh, just the options are insane. Um, I kind of feel like I want to power up one more flak gun, but, you know, I don't want to miss out on the stores, so I'm willing to delay gratification just a little bit longer here. Cloak to stay hidden. Oh, whoops, that totally caused me to avoid that thing. Oh, no, and I missed the other store. You know, we've done so well in the stores, I don't really think that we need so much store action. Let's go to the distress beacon. There might even be another store later on. Why are we not using flak? Uh, ooh. A distress call, small research station. Uh, laboratory got a fire as a control. Um. Ooh. I can't remember what happens with this event. Uh. FTL, you find the source of a fire. Uh, what happens here? Yeah, I thought that was right. We could lose a crew member and receive low scrap. Um, but docking, we could receive... Uh, okay, both of these are a 50-50 roll. I think we just have so many crew members right now, although my fear of losing a good crew member is so high, and I don't really need it. If we could choose which crew member, I would do it, but I'm going to do it and leave. That's what I thought this event was. Um, yeah. Some of the events are 50-50, which is just kind of a risk. I think we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and see what's happening there. Even if we just got a lot of scrap and we didn't get a store, we have so many good galaxy or sectors coming up, and we've had good luck for the ones that I thought would be bad, so I'm willing to live with it. I mean, like, the odds of us losing a good crew member were simply too high for that matchup. Uh, I'll gun for their- ooh, this is actually a rather strong ship. Let's shoot a rocket at them. Actually, we will hack their, um... You know, it would be nasty to hack... Ah, uh, no. Actually, it's gonna be really tricky to get through this ship. Hang on a second. We might not even be able to beat this ship. This is just a strong ship. Okay, I will cloak for a second. Jesus, wait a second, that can happen? We were cloaked! <laughs> I didn't know that that could happen. Uh, yikes. Um, we may have to jump from this fight. It's just a rare and tough enemy. Oh, does it raise your dodge? I thought it would just completely avoided missiles. I stand corrected. <laughs> Okay, we've taken down their shields. Let's try to shoot one Artemis and see if... Or we'll try to shoot this, just because it's... Nope, they shot down that missile immediately. I probably should have sent the hacking drone in at the same time. Okay, we'll go for the shields again. 
We basically just have to take down this ship's shields. We don't really have a very strong offense on our ship. Oops, I forgot about my backup battery again. Ah, damn it. Ah, dag nabbit. Uh, I don't like this fight. This is not a good fight. And slug, go fix the oxygen. That's not good. Uh, their drones are back online. Yeah, we're gonna have to jump from this fight. This is quite a horrible fight for us. Good. Okay, we did manage to dodge that one with the cloak. We just can't even get to them. Yeah, this is my thing, is my ship isn't getting good at getting through multiple layers of field shields when there are drones defending the ship, too. It is giving us some experience at dodging, though. Is maybe the only saving grace right here. Okay, we will open these doors. We're just taking too much hull damage. We can't even shoot them with a missile here. Okay, I'm jumping. This is not a good fight for us. Yeah, we just can't get through it. I didn't anticipate that we would be going up against that much. Now, if I hacked them, then they would have uh, they would have destroyed my hacking uh, drone from the defense ships. Maybe I could have gotten it through somehow. This ship also has two, but it's a Mantis ship. Engage the Mantis ship. Okay, if they were to teleport into our ship, they're just going to die instantly, so we're fine. I'm not worried about that. Let's try to hack their shields, though, because they got two layers on them. Can we even hack a middle room? Oh, we can. I didn't know that was a thing. <laughs> Why would you do that? There's only one person aboard your ship anymore. Okay, let's just see if we can kill the pilot. Okay, he picked the wrong fight today. Oh, no, mister. No, mister. Why do I sound so innocuous? All right, I, I think that's the only location of their crew, is just the NG there. Man, we are really messing this guy up in here. No, don't take out Trademark. He's our most beloved crew member. Go back. No, studios, you stay in there. Everyone go back to your places, except Slugman. Uh, actually, we'll just gun for you again. Try to kill the whole crew. And... Uh, whoops, wait a second. Okay, let's turn back on backup power. There we go, and... Okay, hack their shields again. Take their shields down, and... Oh no, he... Oh, I forgot that they had a uh, teleportation beacon in there. That was bad. Okay, we will just take down their shields completely then. Oh, cool. They can't get into the shield room, though. That is useful for us. Uh, I guess we could have gone for the oxygen. Eh, it was fine. He just cloned himself. I didn't anticipate that. It's fine. Good, they're dead. Did I miss on the hack timing? Oops, a daisy. That was a... Whoa, that was a lot of scrap. Okay, just so that we don't get into a fight like we did with that last ship, I'm thinking what we need to do now, just because... Eh, uh, store is useful, but... I don't want to let that happen again because we just passed up on an easy opportunity. Let's just buy one more for our weapons and maybe, uh, I'll save spending a little bit of money on the power just because if we happen to get one good store here, it'll be worth it. We just have so many other systems that need power now though. Okay, cool. Yeah, that was worth it, I think. Okay, so now we'll power on our flak gun. We have to do so by powering down our, uh, yeah. Let's power down our hacking for a second. And we will just put our flak onto these two systems. That way we aren't wasting so many missiles. Oh wait, no, but if they're going to do that, let's go ahead and do the hacking. I think we'll hack their shields again. Okay, good. When people board our ship, we actually have a decent response to it. Go, my humans. Okay, just need a few more seconds till we hack their shields. Let's go down with the... Ah, no, we perfectly missed it again. <laughs> oh, no. I am sad. But although this flak is working really well. Okay, this is a slightly better combat experience than we had a moment ago. Good. It was not going too particularly well for us. 
Uh, okay, they're trying to escape now. Uh, shoot the flak at their engines. No studios, remain at your post. Howard, go to the mid bay. Okay, it's literally anything we can get now. Flak is... Flak is kind of sweet when it does hit. Ooh, man, we're getting so much scrap from these fights. Okay, no stores, so I think at this point in time, I'm just content to start upgrading the ship a little bit more. Let's just buy more power, because we've needed that for a while. Wait a minute, Todd Howard... No, I didn't... Oh, you jest. I thought that I had lost Todd Howard there for a second. Todd, I guess just Todd... Todd Toward. All right, let's heal our people. Build his, build his full flak and just overwhelm the enemies with space trash. That would be the goal here, would just be to use the burst laser and the flak one, which are more or less interchangeable. They both shoot three shots. They're practically the same gun. Um, that's kind of the idea here, is just get through so many shields, and it doesn't even use up the missiles or the drone parts. I like the hacking, because you use up only maybe one drone part per fight, and that's, like, worth it. Okay, so now we can power up our cloaking, we can power up our engine. I think I'd like at least one more power bar for my engine, though, just to get us up to 22% evade. How good are we at avoiding the enemy with the engine now? Studios. Okay, you're almost at level 1, so that's going to upgrade our um, our thing. I'm also going to upgrade our oxygen, just because I don't want to die in a stupid way. Uh, halfway taking down your oxygen is way better than fully taking it down with just one hit. Um, okay, I think we go here, and then we go for the exit. Yeah, unfortunately, we can't really do more than that. Oh, or we could do... Nope, we can't do that. Never mind, let's do that. Decent upgrades, decent upgrades. Demand the surrender of their goods. Okay, uh, they're trying to escape immediately. Uh, we will hack their shields and then just gun for their engine. And then we will use our stealth when they shoot a missile at us. Okay, uh, okay, I think n three, two, one. Before they're fully charged, now we hack the engines because it's going to take some time to take them down. Cool! Ooh, that was a great hit. Ooh, I totally forgot to uh, cloak, but we still somehow survived it. Uh. All right, good. That makes us good for another volley, though. I think now we go for their shields because we still have the cloak. Assuming that I will remember it this time. Okay, now I will remember to cloak. Okay, now we shoot for their guns because I don't want to get hurt anymore. Man, imagine just being pounded by space garbage into death. That would be like Sandra Bullock in Gravity. Beautiful. Over a decade and this game has never gone out of stall. I totally agree, cat face shirt. Also... Hiddix, thank you very much for the prime. The flak bubble, yes, the flak bubble lineup. I also like, I think it's the Federation ship with the laser. It has like a very long laser that can basically take out an entire ship in one shot. Assuming that you have a decent burst laser behind it. Um, or like a missile of some sort. Uh, I think we're going straight for the exit. Let's just go ahead and see what's at the exit and then we'll handle our upgrades because I don't think there's generally a fight here. Uh, do a thing. Oh my gosh, there's a... I did not expect a store here. Okay, well, whatever. Uh, not really anything crazy that I wanted. Pegasus heal beam. That instantly heals our friendly crew. Okay, this is useful for boarding, but not for what we're doing. Uh, I don't really need any more crew. I'm thinking, honestly, for here, the fuel might be useful, just because we're a little low on it. The Pegasus is good. How much, uh, shots per charge... Ooh, that is true. How many... It does... Two projectiles for the cost of one. That is nice. How much power does it use up? But it requires three power. Hmm. I do like the Pegasus. I'm not gonna lie. It's a good... Good gun. And if I can't get another gun, it'll be useful. But it's also kind of a lot of power right now. And I like just the kind of pew of Pegasus. I think for right now, for me, this is a good choice for some builds, and I really do like Pegasus. Um, hmm. 
<sighs> I've reached an impasse. I feel like fuel and then just go down on defenses because two shields isn't going to be enough. I want three shields. Let's get that. I'm going to do a little bit of fixing and then I'm going to go ahead and buy another... Oh, wait a minute. I can't do that yet. Uh, yeah. I want a third shield because I like to be just a, behind a copious number of shields. I'm not buying Pegasus. I just don't have the money to put into that weapon system right now. Artemis, potentially, and it's just about as good. I'm willing to live with that. If we get another burst laser or another flak, I'll do it for the memes. Though, I mean, we could do the final boss fight with what we've got right now. I'd prefer a little bit more. It's doable, though. Let's jump for now. Go to the next sector. I'm not, like, totally happy with this, but we've done okay. We've done okay. It's I'm willing to live with this build. Okay, we'll keep going unt until we have enough to afford three shields. I like to be one level ahead in shields. Ooh, a nice lineup of two stores next to each other. Mmm, nice. Uh, listen to their problem. Uh, we do have a human crew member. Uh, we don't really have any positions on the ship. Let's just see. Can you take it? Okay, cool. They upgraded our engines. Nice. Yeah, that was my one thing about having so many crew members is like... We legit have too many. I don't need this many. Fortunately, it, we have no worries about fires or anything like that taking out our ship. Because I was playing the stealth ship before, it's actually really difficult to put out fires on the stealth ship. Uh, just by virtue of, like, the way that it is laying out. Quad flak one. Yeah, if we could get a f quad flak one, that would be amazing. Military supplies and offering to try to improve your reactor in exchange. Uh, I don't want to give up three fuel, so I'm just going to decline right here. I just don't like that deal. I, I'm going to need fuel, if nothing else. Uh, Federation Encrypted is being broadcast for... Uh... <sighs> Federation Encrypted single. Federation Encrypted signal FTL. I don't remember this event. Uh, resources and scrap. We could get boarded uh, or nothing happens. Okay, I'm just going to... Yeah, this one I should do. I have to look it up really quick. Uh, I will send it away, party. Okay, cool. We got good thing. Nice. Good thing is good. I think we'll go for one more, then we'll try to hit two stores, because two stores is a lot of money. Uh, and then we could go here, here, quest. Yeah, that's nice. A Freudian slip. Did I have a Freudian slip? What did I say? A Federation slip. Uh, I think we are unable to hack them when they have this thing online. All right, this is a Zoltan, with apparently no Zoltans aboard the Zoltan ship. Let me go cloak for a second. Man, we really are not doing too particularly well with the cloaking and, like, not getting hit thing. Uh, that kind of sucks. Uh, I hate that. I guess we could hack them. Yeah, I think I will actually hack their weapon system now. I don't want to get hit with another one of those missiles. Just getting hit with a missile is such a... Is such an L. Maybe not like perfect timing for that. Yikes. Uh, okay, you go repair the oxygen. And in fact, you go too. Uh, I don't like this at all. Not a very good fight. I just, I have to put so much into shields because I'm not really, I do kind of have the missiles now. I could use one more weapon slot so that I could fire Artemis on them. All right, I'm willing to live with that. Ooh, this is a good offer, though. I'm willing to take it because I don't want to get hit with another missile. They might even blow up anyway. Do they have... Oh, yeah, I do have stealth weapons. That's true. Um, I think we need more evasion. Just like some of these missiles should not be hitting us. It's just because we have low missile evasion chance. It, like, drastically raises our, um... Well, it's fine. I'm gonna do two stores right now. Yeah, one and two. I should just barely be able to get that in. Um, okay, let's put a little bit more into our med bay for a second. Ooh, game. Go get some healing. 
All right, there we go. Woo, woo, hooray. Yeah, okay. Now we've got, uh, these are kind of useless. First laser one is kind of useless. Uh, does it take only, no, it also, yeah, burst laser one also requires two power. I don't love, I don't really like that. Uh, nothing crazy here. We'll be able to repair it the next one anyway if we want. Yeah, I don't like any of this. Uh, maybe I'll buy some more fuel? Yeah, I'll spend nine on three fuel, just because if we run out of fuel, that would be bad. Okay, we'll get another store in, then we'll be able to go to the quest and carry on with our journey. That's why Burst Laser 2 is so good. Yes, indeed. Uh, none of these are really that good, again. Um... Eh. Uh. Alright, whatever. I'm willing to... Let's just go ahead and see what we want to upgrade on our ship, then. I think I want one more weapon slot, just because we have 28 missiles now, so why leave that? Uh, is that all we can afford? <laughs> oh no. That is kind of embarrassing. Uh, so we could power up Artemis. Power down our med bay. Put more into engines. Yeah, we got, we got cloaking and hacking pretty early on. Like, surprisingly much so. Now we're at 29% of aid. I'm going to go ahead and say let's put another one into here and here. Or wait a minute. Undo, accept. Well, let's actually fix. And then when we get more scrap later on, then we could put that into it. So I will go ahead and... I'm going to buy like two more fuel. We're like low on fuel for some reason. I will fix up to green, but not much more than that. And we'll go with all the rest of the fuel. Now we don't have to worry about fuel like for the rest of the playthrough. And then I think we will upgrade our engines. And then we will start to, like, repurpose power from whatever we're not using into the engines as we go. Because let's see, like, when we do this, we get 34%. That's still a, a pretty good difference in the amount of evade. Good evade is pretty amazing. Like, it, it's the unspoken hero of some playthroughs. I think we can go with one, two, or three, and then four. So let's try to just go this way. I don't want to chance it by going too far out into this flung moment of space. Long time Vod enjoy, but first time checking out the stream. Can't even tell you how many times. Hey, Strawberry, uh, thank you very much for the very kind words. Happy to have helped you enjoy, uh, well, whatever it is you found him for. Thanks for coming out to the stream. Yeah, I just need more power cells in the engine. Ooh, this is not bad. Come across a pirate in hot pursuit uh, of an ident unidentified ship. This is actually a pretty good amount of, um... I mean, this is a very strong missile aboard him, and we still don't have the evade, so I'm willing to take the bribe from pirates. Thank you, pirates. Good job. Keep robbing people, pirates. We'll put that toward our evasion. Good. Now we have, like, a one in three chance to evade. Hey, Z-score, how you doing? Hmm. I will shoot regular boy at your shields, and then I will shoot... Here, everything else. But let's just give the missile a chance to... Eh, let's just throw everything at it at once. I want to see what it looks like, because I'm vain. I want to see what my evade goes up to for a second when I... Okay, so evade goes up to 94% evade. Wow, that's good. Jeez. Okay, that's pretty OP now. That's pretty amazing. All right, yeah, we're in business now. We just needed to upgrade our ship a little bit more. Ooh! What was that? Was that from the quest? Ooh, we made a lot from that. Nice. Yes! Okay, now we have Lombard. Okay, now I get to name a crew member 16. 16 times the detail. 16 times. There we go. How Todd Howard, Bethesda Game Studios, trademark, 16 times, 16 times the deed <laughs> has touched the beacon. We touched the beacon. Yeah, quest rewards are good. Like, wow, you actually managed to complete a quest? Amazing. Have all this money. I would like 
I mean, we get 94% evasion when I turn on the uh, cloak. So let's go ahead and just put it into a little bit more shield. I want to focus on survivability here. And then we'll just get a little bit more scrap and eh, maybe, but let's just see what we get at the exit. Sometimes you get an early store in the next galaxy and I don't want to waste it if, if that does happen. Uh, I'm not really willing to take this, just... We don't really use up too many drone parts, so I think 10 will like gradually just get some for the last boss fights, but we'll be fine. Yeah, what did I tell you? Two stores right in a row. Um, I do want to be able to answer that distress beacon, but I don't think I can. Honestly, I say we still look at the two stores, or maybe just one of them. Yeah, this is a tricky one, actually. We could avoid having to go through those nebulas if we go that way. This is going to be kind of a weird sector. I think if we go like this, just get a quick second store, go like this, and then like that, and that's going to be our ticket out of here. So let's try to snake our way along. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll go here first as well. Just because we need a little bit more money for Astora, potentially. Clone High, also. Thank you very much for the Prime. That was a waste. Oh, well. I'm sad. Oh, sorry, I'm getting a call. Hang on a second. Um, hmm. Swarm. Swarm Launcher can replicate multiple warheads. Jasper Charge 1. This looks like it's going to just burn through missiles really fast. I don't think I can use that. No, this is a terrible store. Howard Field? Yeah, I don't really like this star system. There's too much space. Um. Three missiles for one missile at full charge. What does it take? So it takes 21 seconds to shoot three missiles for the price of one. It seems very, like, stingy. Yeah, it just pees out missiles. We have third... I mean, we'll have enough for the... You burn through them in the final boss fight, so... I'm willing to just go without it. Yeah, you get it, like, twice a fight. It's not worth it. All right, I'm, I'm not going to do that. Terrible luck here. Hmm, mind control clone bay. Uh, I don't like this store either. Wow. I know I seem very picky when I go through these, but it's like, they're just not that good. <laughs> oh, I thought that I could go here from there. Whoops. Never mind. What a horrible galaxy. Uh, we got kind of screwed here. I think I'm just going to upgrade my ship more then, in that case. Let's get another uh, shield. And I'm willing to take some off of the uh, what? I think I just need to save up more money for power, actually. <laughs> we will just go without that for a while. Um, yes, because I do want the other systems online, actually. I want to be able to cloak. <laughs> yeah, like situations like this. Oh, this is a rather tough fight, actually. Um, hmm. Okay, well, we can power down the hacking... And they do have a flak gun, uh, but I feel like we're just going to be better since they don't off have missiles in this fight. Let's just power up our third shield and not use any of those systems. We just need more power on our ship. As everyone else, though, we're getting to higher levels with our, like, manipulation of the systems themselves, though, and that is good. Ooh, but the asteroid field is doing a lot of the work. <laughs> All right, very well, nice. We'll save Artemis till once their Zoltan shield is down. Okay, and now we will shoot that at their shields. Cool, sweet. Uh, oh no, this is bad. Our cloaks have gone down uh, offline. Hang on a second, get in there, Mr. Slug. Go, Mr. Slug. Okay, I need to fin end this fight, like, immediately, so I'm going to... Or, you know, Ar Artemis can auto-fire at this point in time. Now nah, we're gonna win in like two seconds. No, oh, maybe not. Never mind, never mind. Uh, I will hack your guns at the same time. I am just getting increasingly afraid. Okay, cool. Offline. Yeah, we just took more damage than I wanted to in that fight. Get better at repairing, get better at repairing. Okay, we won. That could have been bad. Ooh, we got a lot from that fight though. Yeah, asteroids are great against the Zoltans. I haven't really recognized that. 
Okay, the store is where it's doo-doo in this galaxy. Unfortunately, we can't upgrade our ship right now because it's dangerous. I wish you could upgrade in an asteroid field, though, because clearly we're not in any danger anymore. Right? Danger. Uh. Where is 16 times? Oh, we completely forgot where 16 times belongs. Um... Okay, I'm willing- so I have two people in our shields. I think having two people in our engines as well would be kind of good. Just because if something goes wrong with the engines, you want those repaired fast. It's rare that they take out our pilot, and we've also got two people right by there. So let's save him there. We have a nice big crew for this, uh, game. Just try to stay away from nebulas as much as possible. Okay, more Zoltans. Ooh, this is a very well-armed ship. I think we could power on Artemis again, though. Let's power that down. Artemis, go ahead. I'm just going to put it on auto-fire while we still have 31 missiles. That's ridiculous. Uh, actually, auto-fire at their shields. I'm willing to do one here. Uh, let's go down to 27 and turn on our cloaking for their first round. Phew. Okay. Cloaking boy. Don't shoot me, please. See, that is a big, thick layer of shields. I don't like that. Ooh, yeah, laser. See how quickly they get through our shields and stuff. Okay, now I can send in my hacker. And... Noom, be hacked. Alright, I think we're fine. We basically just won the fight. Uh, Artemis is a little bit offline right now. I mean, it's a lot offline. It's completely offline. So yeah, the timing of my shots is not very good. These don't really sync up very well, I've noticed. At least we're getting shield experience. With plenty of crew to handle all of our repairs. This is a very good ship we're going up against, though. Okay, now I think we won. Double over the hacking. Phew. Okay, we're getting a lot of scrap from these fights, at least. The Zoltans are like the rich boys of the... Uh, of the. Oh, I keep forgetting to use my battery. Thank you for that. Ah. Uh, yeah, definitely time to... Well, we need more power cells and engine upgrades. Um, I keep forgetting to use those, so I'm just going to get more power bar... Uh, what do I need? I'll put one in pilot, I'll put two in engines, and then I'm just going to have to use my backup battery. Normally we don't get these two systems till the end, which is why this is kind of throwing me off. Okay, 38% dodge is not that bad. Yeah, alright, I'm going to have to live through a little bit more fighting. Uh... Yeah, we'll use our backup battery to get our cloaking and our hacking. That actually makes sense, because we use them, like, occasionally when we do use them. One, two, three, four, five. I think we could make this happen. Yeah, more power cells and a, a little bit more on the engines. I think you're right. Okay, see, this ship is really well defended, so we're definitely going to need to make use of the flak and the burst laser here. Uh, we should probably sync up their shots, too. Let's just wait until everything is ready and shoot everything at once. Oh, and everyone go back Hello to positions. There. Whoops, I didn't fully heal our crew. Hey, Rar, what's up, dude? How you doing? Ah, uh, fellow content creator, Rar. Thanks for subbing, man. Appreciate you. How did the rest of They Are Billions go yesterday? Hmm... Okay, we are ready to fire. Noom, noom. Okay, I will cloak and hack at the, at the same time, actually. Uh, you know, I may stand corrected on this. Let's just go one and two and three. Just send everything for their shields. Take down their shields, man. Yeah, they did. They, t they killed our hacking drone. Even throwing all of that crap at them at the same time wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. They still got through. Uh, I am not ready to shoot Artemis again at this moment. We're not doing too particularly well in this fight, if you have not noticed yet. Hmm. Oh, good, my dude. Painful, very pain. I'm so sorry. 
<laughs> it is kind of awesome to lose at that game, though, isn't it? I love that game. Even when you lose, it's fun. Hmm. That's a good game. That's actually a very good game. Now you're making me want to play that. Like, the wave defense. Just something about the sense of, like, being attacked by hordes of undead zombies it is honestly exciting. A worthwhile experience in gaming. They aren't really getting through our shield, but... We aren't really getting... I mean, both ships are, like, pretty well outfitted. Hang on a second. I just have to coordinate the flak missiles and the... Oh, wait a second. Flak is already fired. Whoops. Okay, burst laser try it again. Uh, we keep getting a hit through, but then they just get through in time to repair it, and the NGs repair fast. Batter backup battery is still working. I mean, it's good experience for us, like, getting better at dodging and recharging our sh shields and stuff, so... Hang on a second. Let me just fire these both at exactly the same time. Though what's tricky is that the flak fires slower than the lasers do. Okay, let me shoot flak then, and then I'll shoot the lasers. Eh, uh, okay, a little bit better. Can we get one Artemis through? No, absolutely not. God, these guys have great defense. Okay, we'll go back up battery, we'll cloak. Ooh, that was decent. Honestly, decent. Though they might just escape at this rate. Okay, Flak got through two of the shields themselves. Decent. As long as they don't, like, escape with their engines, we'll be fine. Hmm. Laser. You like it when I say laser? I'll say it some more. Laser. Backup battery offline. Studios. At least everyone's getting experience. Okay, one more hit. Please don't escape. That would be a real buzzkill if we got this far. NGs are just so difficult to deal with. I don't think we took any damage in that fight, though. All right, 43 scrap is worth it. Let me just see if there's any more stores. Okay, no more stores here, so I feel no guilt whatsoever in just, like, let's just put it toward more engine power. Okay, 45% chance of dodge is great. Um, willing to live with that. I think we go one, two, three, four, five. Uh, can we do it? One, two, three, four. I think that's going to be a bit too chancy. Let's go here first. We may have to go to another nebula. Oh, and I forgot to heal my crew again. Damn it. Hack them. Intruders. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of humans. Why would they attack us in the med bay? Pretty dumb. Divert power, go back to the med bay, and... I could, guess we could, like, slowly starve them of oxygen, but... Nah, that's... Crazy. That would be crazy. Uh, let's get our... NGs aren't really good at combat. Yeah, this is not our forte, really. Okay, you two go back in there. They're winning this fight by quite a lot. Eh... What a horrible place to decide to attack us. <laughs> okay, yes, and we can outnumber you in this room as well. Uh, you m are g actually getting kind of close to being dead. Don't die. Okay, and we're fine. No one died. What a dumb attack. You are so dumb. Woo, we survived. Okay, everyone go back to your places, go back to your places, heal, heal, heal. Not a bad fight, and now we can heal 16 times. Ah, nice. Howard saved the day. <laughs> Howard Todd. Ooh, Howard Todd. Yeah, it was the first time I realized that he had two first names for a first name and a last name. It ju <laughs> just worked. It just worked. Uh... Well, how come, like, legendary game designers are so meme in their presentation? Hmm. Okay, we've got full yellow level engine. We've got full yellow level, um... Oh, actually, our three major systems are on full yellow level. 
Uh, pretty happy with that. Not gonna make any major changes. Okay, keep going. Everyone needs oxygen except for the Lanius, which we haven't encountered any Lanius. Lanius are very tricky, though, like... Handling them as they are. Uh, ooh, they've got a hacking system here. Hang on a second. Um, okay, we can go send Flack in for that. Am I gonna send Artem? I'll send one Artemis, but that's it. Flack will put on their guns, and we'll put this on their guns, and I'm just going to cloak for like a second. I don't think I need to use up a drone part in this battle. Okay, we will cloak for a second. <laughs> it's like, where did the ship go? Where did it go? It looks like they're going to hack our shields, though. Oh no, it was our cloaking. Never mind. It's totally fine to have your cloaking hacked. Though that does make a big difference in the final battle. Alright, this is an easy fight. Uh, I don't care again if the cloaking is hacked. We're not worried about that. Uh, just take their guns offline. Man, these guys are pretty good at evading, though. I feel like I should be shooting the flak at rooms with other adjacent rooms, just because of where else it could hit. I'm trying to figure out how that works. Like, I've never really extensively used flak. I like using flak, but I don't fully understand it. But I do like it. Okay, we'll put the extra power onto engines and, uh, you know, we can sometimes use hacking, though I think I want to save up some more drone parts for right now. One, two, and I think three. It doesn't really make a difference here. Having the streamer luck with the targeting, the first borders to medbay, then hacking to the cloak. There are quite a lot of moving parts on this strategy. Like, we've had, we had hacking and cloaking since, like, the first system, which was wild. Unexpected, honestly. Oh, hang on a second, am I happy with this? I think again I'll just use up one missile. Let's just save the flak and the burst laser for once the missile has been shot. Okay, good. Now we can go in with the two of those. Uh, they do have a very strong laser on their ship. I have 108% evasion. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> How does that happen? Oh no, I got hit with one. Oh, what unlucky misses. Jesus. Okay, hang on a second. Artemis, shoot one more. Man, they have really good evasion on this ship. They're just dodging everything. Hang on a second. I just want to prevent them from uh, shooting us, really. Man, I should be going for their... Oh my gosh, wow. Jeez, Louise. Okay, there we go. That's money. Prevent them from dodging. Now go for the guns. There we go. Burst laser. Nice. That ship had good weapons, but that was about it. Uh, I'm thinking just keep upgrading our power. We need one more power bar. That way we can get our hacking online at the beginning. Now we have 30 left. We already have piloting. Okay, we're actually in pretty good shape now. Uh, yeah. Alright, okay. I'm willing to just, like, live with the consequences of whatever will be for a while. I think we're fine. <laughs> three flax. Did they have three? Wait, we had three flax. I mean, ideally, we can get more meme levels of flak guns. Hmm. I do like to be able to title the video, like, for Flack, but I doubt we'll get it this time if we haven't gotten it so far. Okay, we can hack these guys instantly. They do have that. I should have done that a second ago, but... Not really in any danger in these fights. Okay, these guys are horrible at evading. Take down their weapon. Uh, and then we can cloak once that missile is back online. Save the Artemis missiles just because you want to have as many as you can. You just want to be able to spam them in the last fight. Keep Artemis offline. I guess I could do my backup power, but what am I really even going to do it to? The missiles have been fired. Okay, we will leave them as they are. I love that 108% evade. <laughs> I never realized that that's a very high of eight. Yeah. 
The thing that's funny though is that the flak and the burst missile don't really sync up in their shots. I feel like having one more of them would just cause us to rain like insane levels of debris at the enemy ship. Kind of like that. Or now they're going to sync up in their next lineup. Look at this. One, two, three, and the hit. That's like rain downhill on their ship. Oh, um, hang on a second. Cloaking? Ooh, you missed. Ooh, this is good. This is a good offer, but I don't think it's good enough. We will not accept your surrender. I mean, we're going to kill them instantly, so. Okay, I think we did a little bit better from that. Through murder. Hmm. Hack their engines and get rid of the evasion? Possibly, possibly. Yeah, the shields I'm not totally convinced on now. It's like, as soon as I get down the shields, I want to take down the weapons, and then I sort of go for the engine, but I never really get to it. You're right. I definitely want a fourth level of shield for the final area, but I think we're going to have a little bit more space and time here to do whatever it is that we need to. Yeah, hacking is kind of like the unsung hero. Hacking and cloaking are huge. I uh, didn't get anything really at the end of that one. Okay, cool. We got an NG controlled. This is kind of hard to find a civilian sector at the very end. I feel like it's usually more hostile. Oh, I didn't expect stores right away. Uh, I would be able to- I would like to be able to revisit these stores, so I'm thinking we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We kind of miss out on this here, but at least we get to see both stores. Besides, the things that I'm looking for now aren't extremely pricey, but... Okay, I'm not crazy about these anyway. Turned out to be a good thing. I will buy fuel probably at the next one, but not this one. Mind control is decent, but there's still other guns I would prefer on the ship before we do that. Okay, yeah. One, two, three. Let's do it. Yeah, cloaking can win runs as long as you have the... That's true. That's true. You do need the weapons, though. Yeah, you, like, you need an offense strategy. You can... You can get by for a while with a decent defense strategy. Let's hang on a second. Just wait for these two to sync up. I will shoot one Artemis, though, as soon as it becomes available. And I want to try to avoid using so many drone parts. Maybe for, like, a couple more fights. And then I can use a hacker in every single fight after that. Okay, cool. Got their guns down. And I totally forgot to fly. <laughs> I forgot to cloak. We're, like, every single fight is practically, like, the final fight already. Just because of how many systems we got aboard this ship. Okay, yeah. Cloak now. Avoided that missile. Let's go straight for their guns. Now, nah, okay. Artemis again. See, it's still not really enough. I guess we could hack their engines. Yeah, bring the evasion down to zero. Yeah, you're right. Maybe that would work. Let's try it. Nice! Okay, that means, like, everything hits. We don't ever have any weird misses. Oh, that actually works surprisingly well. Yeah, you're right about that. Uh, I'm actually going to take this because the combat drone is going to be worth a lot of money. And we can sell that at the next store. Might be worth the scrap that we would have gotten from their defeat. <laughs> Feet. Hey, Devin Diamond. Thanks very much for coming out. Right, let's see. Explosive missile-based weapons have a 50% chance of... Ooh, that's actually really good. Basically means that we can use missiles forever now. I'm actually going to take this because explosive... I mean, statistically, that's going to work in the long run. So let's go ahead and do that. Then we, we just have to buy more fuel. Unfortunately here. I'll bring us down to 30. Maybe that was actually too much because we get tons of fuel in the last sector. Um, they're also going to repair us in the last sector too. What else do I need on the ship? Uh, we gotta wait a little while longer. I would like to be able to upgrade now just like the, all the auxiliary systems. Get a little bit more shield and then go from there. Gunbrella and Heretic's Fork. No, but I've never... Interesting names. I will check out those games. Heretic's Fork? Thank you for the recommendation, uh, Tijetsu. Actually, I may have gotten one of those, but I would like to check them out. Yeah, we do We do need a little bit more firepower. 
Uh, okay, I'll trade one fuel for five. Okay, now we never have to worry about missiles again, because everyone's being treated as two, pretty much. That's basically like we have 50 missiles. Explore the asteroid field. Ooh, good thing. Uh, I'll save a little bit of money in case if there's a store in one of these last areas. I think I want to check out here quick. Actually, good opportunities at jumping here. I just want to see what's in that one. See, that's a great spot because we can see all around it. We'll go here. Oh, I forgot to heal everyone again. We have good stuff that we can sell. Okay, cool. Store. Let's see if we can get one more gun. It'd be nice if we get something. Mm, nope. It looks like we might have to just be stuck with these guns for the final boss battle. We have enough other systems that'll work. Enemy defense drones from targeting anything. Uh, crew gets fully healed by teleportation. Not really worth it. All crew inside a uh, hacking room. Uh, not really worth it either. Uh, okay, I will sell the drones because I just don't even really do drone systems. We do have two good aug augmentations on our ship. Thinking we might end up being stuck with this. It's not really like a perfect lineup, but uh, you just got to live with it. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's just see what ship systems we can upgrade. I think we're stuck. All right. I'm thinking that the most important thing here is going to be to get two more shields. Because we have decent evasion now, but getting that fourth layer of shields actually means quite a lot. Um, whoops, we can't really afford it yet. Okay, so it's going to be 180 to afford the whole system. But when we do, that basically just makes us, like, impervious to any type of laser, just because it's so much in terms of shields. Um, I think in that case... Uh, no, we get fixed at the start of the next galaxy. We should be okay there, but let's go ahead and heal our crew. Here, go get some health care. Game and TM. And I will turn on backup power for that. Defense Scrambler. Wait, what is Defense Scrambler good for? Enemy drones from targeting anything. Isn't that defense drones, though? That could help us to get missiles through. My only reservation on that one is that the final boss battle never has any defense drones. They have only offensive drones. It'll let your flak and missiles get through, that's true. And, you, yeah, we do have a free slot. Mm. Yeah, it's mainly the offensive drones. Like, I hate drone swarm in the final boss battle. Do you think it's worth it? Uh, it has a defense drone, does it? It might help us. I mean, the fact that we don't have another slot, it's only 80. Okay, then I'm going to go... Wait, does the second phase... Oh, second phase does have a defense drone. Okay, yeah, that'll be important for our hacking. Let's go ahead and use defense scrambler then. I'll take it. Good idea. Thank you for saving me that trouble. Okay, in the meantime, we will go to the distress beacon and then we'll maybe visit a couple more of these before the exit. After that, though, I still do need to get on a fourth shield. I really need a fourth shield for it. Promised help. Uh... Ooh, NG. Okay, cool. Nice. We're getting a lot of scrap from these things. Uh, I think we can go one, two, and then go. Ooh, this is going to be kind of a nail-biter at the end, though. Uh, merchant seems to be mass products of merchant. Uh, shall we respond? Sure. Ship seems reasonably... Uh, okay, I think this is a quest. I think that the quest died. <laughs> uh, uh, what do I do here? I think it slows down after this one. That would be a huge L if we got hit by the thing. Mm. I'm going to go for it. I'm taking a risk. Taking a risk here. Assistance requested danger present. Okay, cool. We got into a fight. Um, all right, this is a pretty easy ship. I think we'll be okay for the last one. We just have enough defense on our ship that we should be fine. Uh, oh, everyone back, go to your places. Uh, except you, slug boy, go there, and you go in there, and you go in there too. Everyone go fight those mantises. 
Uh, they have a very good gun on their ship. Let's also go ahead and just hack their what engines because it can't miss, and that's good. Their what engines? Okay, we will go into Artemis onto that, and then one and two on that. I kind of messed up the order of that, but whatever, I'm cloaking. Oh, don't die. Do not die, Beth. Hang on a second. Two. Don't die, don't die. Uh, oh, Ogar Daya. Thank you very much for the prime. You know, you're right. The music in this game is 10 out of 10. You never really notice it because you're just, like, so hyped about the game when you're playing it. But it is good music. I'm just saying, TM, you go in there. Ezda, you go in there. Beth, keep working on the guns. We just need somebody to stay on the guns for a minute. Okay, I think we can just go ham with the missiles now. Go ham! Go, go ham! No, Howard, you're not supposed to be working on the Places, people. Places. Okay, now they're dead. Beth, go get some health care. Good. At least we got another 63 scrap. We're going to need that for the final. You know, I know we're going to take a hit here. We're going to take an L, but I think it's going to be worth it because we'll have four shields. We put on one more for that. We take one off of maybe, like... We put it on the backup battery. Or we use the backup battery on our engine. That way we have four shields. That's so hard to get through, man. I just can close that door. Close that door. Beth, go in there. Oh, we forgot to power up our, um... Here we go. Yeah, so I can put backup power onto our engines, just so we get a little bit more dodge chance when we do it. Yeah, now I'll set our Artemis to auto-fire, because we got 28 missiles. But these are some tough fights coming up here, too. I just feel very good about the laser situation. I feel like... Oh, well, we had horrible RNG the other day, but... When I have decent RNG, I can quite reliably win this. On easy. <laughs> yeah, we, you do need the four shields, though, you're right. Okay, this is a very, very strong ship we're going up against. Uh, again, I think this hacking of the engines, that was a good idea. Yeah, good idea. With the um, shield disruptor, that's great. Oh no, they've made their way into our oxygen. Uh, you two go in there, fight him off. Use our backup battery to power our engines. And you know what, our O2 as well. I don't think that's going to make a difference, but whatever. In the meantime, uh, let's have three, all three on shields. Okay, and then we're right about ready to fire. We will hack them. So now the engines are offline, so everything will hit. And then as soon as they fire... Okay, now I'm going to cloak. So they can't, like, charge up against us anymore. Uh, we are losing the fight. We are not doing too particularly well on this, and more people are teleporting aboard our ship. But there's two NGs in that room. They can't really kill us. Uh, ooh. Are we gonna have to, like, trade out? Hang on a second. No, Howard, don't die. Don't die, Howard. Do not die above all you are... That is unacceptable. Dying is unacceptable. I don't think they'll win the fight in that room. This is very bad. I don't like this at all. Go, slug boy! Repair! Repair, slug boy! A second. Uh... Okay, I know we don't have oxygen for a second. I'm gonna go repair that. I just there's just so much going on in the fight at once right now. I think my NGs are actually going to win this fight. Oh my god, we're about to be hit by a massive barrage of flak. Please don't kill the people in the med bay. Somehow our evasion saved the day there. We aren't even able to evade normally. Okay, uh you go in there, help him with the oxygen repair. Oh, they're about to get effed up. Jesus. And 
hack them again. My timing is horribly off because I never even play with these systems normally. Okay, good. Their guns are offline. We may actually win this fight somehow. But we didn't have the fleet firing at us. Do you even get a reward? Oh, Jesus. And you get only one fuel for that fight, too. Okay, don't everyone die of oxygen starvation now. Okay, I'm just going to jump just to get out of here. Because the last stand is friendly in the next sector. I feel like you should get a big scrap reward if you manage to make it through that. Okay, and they do repair you and they give you fuel. So, we were good for the final fight. Um, what can we use here? I feel like a little bit more... Maybe one more pip of power. So we don't have to depend on backup power. Maybe a little bit more on the engines. We aren't going to get anything more with the weapons. Healing boost is kind of a waste. Hacking or cloaking improvement would also be pretty cheap and effective as well. Maybe one more on doors as well. Although this ship is not very usable for the doors. Uh, repair can be good. I'm just thinking if the base is over there, they're going to they're going to utterly wreck that repair station. Let's try to make our way one, two, three, four, five, and then maybe we can intercept them in here. This is not a great lineup, but. We're doing our best with what we've got. Oh, I totally forgot to repair my crew. Um, it's okay. It's not really like essential crew members that need the healing right now. Hang on a second. You two go in there. Everyone go back to your positions and studios. And TM and 16 times go in there. Uh, who else? Put one backup power on here and maybe one on there as well. Okay, now I think we can just go for the big attack yeah cloaking uh yeah you're right about it. well the cloaking would last longer so it would prevent them from charging up that's true though we should be okay without it thinking that oh god oh wait a minute no studios was our engine boy okay this was a very major mistake i can see okay whatever we will just not have that for a moment uh they don't have any missiles though thank god Okay, I'm going to shoot our hacking at... Let's do their engines again. I've been liking this engine hacking, honestly. Send that out. Man, it makes a really great sound effect when you send out your drone. Okay, we'll cloak again. 98%. I'll take it. Okay, now we're ready with everything, so let's go hack their engines so they can't dodge it. We'll put Artemis on their shields, see if that lands. Okay, great, it did. Now we're going to put... Let's just shoot everything at their shields to totally disable them if we can. Nice, shields totally down. And now we'll just kind of focus on their, uh, on their guns, obviously. Okay, everyone go back to your places so that we can actually evade their shots. Although I don't think we're going to take any damage here. I think we'll be just fine because of how many shields we have. This is exactly the type of fight we're good at. We excel in this variety of combat. Artemis, I don't even think we need to use up any more missiles. Yeah, and we breached them. Big dub. Well, there's no stores in here. Uh, remind me, do repair stations actually give you a little bit of scrap? I want to say no, so I think this is going to be a waste. Let's just go back here and then we'll go to the base. Might even be able to get that back repair station. Um, also, now we're just going for ship systems. So let's get one more maybe on... Ooh, what do I want it on? I think we want to fully upgrade our reactor. Yeah, I don't want to have to depend on backup power for that. So let's go ahead and put it that toward evasion. 48% is pretty good. Uh, okay, now we're down to 14. Can't do much more with that. Let's go here. Uh, okay, yeah. We'll get into... I think it's just... You don't want to back down from any fight, like, on principle in this game. Otherwise, it just shows that you are weak. You are a weak man. Ooh, that was unexpected. It looks like they're getting into... Ooh, not the gunnery. I dislike that. 
Okay, when we're ready to fire again. At least we have a pretty solid combat pattern down, though. Guns are just about ready to fire. We'll hack them. Shoot Artemis at shields. Actually, auto fire. Just shoot everything at their shields, for God's sake. Uh, oh, they did fire at us. Okay, then we will cloak now, immediately. 108% evasion, nothing can kill us. Beth, stay alive. Actually, you go get some health. I am afraid now in this moment. Turn on backup power. Give the non-essential systems power. Good. Very nice, very nice. Don't die. It would be a disaster right now if you did die. Man, flak is cool. I can't even believe... I can't imagine what it would be like to have four flak. I've never done it before. Jeez. They don't even have oxygen. Sweet. Actually making pretty short work of these chips. Ooh, that was a lot of scrap. Okay, Beth, here, get the last of your health care. Right, and let's go back. Ooh. I think the thing about me is that I just paused the fights so much. I was watching other FTL YouTubers. I was like, I'm pretty sure I'm the only one who pauses this much. Uh, ooh, thank you. Repairing the battery. Yep. Does anyone need repair experience or is anyone about to get level 2? No one really did that good with this, so, eh, whatever. Not so great. Here you go into it. It's basically your job to repair. That's all you're here for. 16 times. Okay. So now we've got... Times 2.5. I don't think the amount of seconds on the disruption is really going to affect us here. I don't think that... I mean... Double cloak time is pretty cool. It might just be fun, but I think a little bit more regular evade chance would be best for us. So if we can get 80 and then another 35 to get up to 51% evade. I think we had this the last time. That was pretty much a winning combo. After that, it becomes worthless to get that much evade. Uh, maybe like sensors and cloaking. We have so many crew, I'm not really worried about survivability. Maybe even doors if we get another chance. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and say let's go back here. Maybe for repair if we need it. And then we'll go fight the final battle. Yeah, like pretty much on the final run here. Does scrap repair the battery? Um, I don't think so. Repair battery. What do you mean? Yeah, Doors is nice for the final phase, although I think we might just have to fight off their whole crew by hand. None of our crew members are particularly strong either, which is why I'm optimistic about the mind control situation. Um, <laughs> I'm optimistic about the mind control situation. <laughs> uh, okay, so they can't target us. Oh, cool. So yeah, they're pretty much haywire there. Okay, that was horrible. Why did they... Why did we let that happen? Um... Everyone go in. They keep targeting our weapons, which is basically the worst possible thing. This is not off to a good start. Okay, we are going to cloak. Uh, Artemis and Flak and Burst Laser all on their shields. Nice, not bad, not bad. Good, he's fighting the slug man. See, we just have such a big crew. It's like it's impossible to get through us. Good, we have plenty of shield. We can hack them again. Oh, wait a second. How is TM dying? Oh, he was dying due to lack of oxygen. Power on the backup? Good. All right, now it's down to a solid hum. Beth, actually, you stay in there for a minute just because I want the weapons still getting powered up. I think we're fine here. Let's go ahead and just prevent them from escaping. I don't believe that they're hacked right now. Distraction buoys. I don't think that these are even good. Yeah, I don't accept their surrender. No. No surrender. No. No, sir. Not today. Mm, but I will cloak just because there's a lot going on. 
And good, their drone powered down, although I think that their offer was about equally as good as their surrender. Death. Uh, distraction buoys, don't they just, like, slow down the fleet? Um... I think, didn't I already have my third augmentation too? Yeah, I do have my third augmentation already. Otherwise, I would have. It wasn't a bad offer, you're right. Hmm. Okay, Howard. Go back. Uh, 95 scrap, though, now. Let's just kind of put in our final bets for the last fight. So we've got to go ahead and put everybody back to their crew positions. And then if we jump, we're going to get one repair, and I don't think we're going to get much else than that. We're probably going to be waiting at the base for them. Um, or actually, I'm probably better off here. But then I might end up in another fight. Let's just see what we can get onto our ship now. I'm thinking we want... It's, yeah, save the repair in case if we need it after, the, like, the first fight, right? I'm not sure if... Can you even get it, though? Terrible lineup of weapons for the end. Although I think our augmentations will keep us. I agree, they are pretty bad. Yep, let's do it. Um, sensors are going to be kind of useless, although I do like them just to see some things on the enemy ship. Uh, see enemy weapon charges could be useful. It is cool to see it, too. I think we want one in blast doors. Just for fire spreading as well. You can get fire spreading be an issue in these fights. Uh, and then I think... 25 and 35 works out pretty well. Let's go do that. Get our sensors and get our hacking a little bit better. Or we could have our cloak last for a longer time. Yeah, seven seconds doesn't make a huge difference. Um, let's get our cloak up. I prefer that. Yeah. That's what I'm doing. Because cloak comes on and offline pretty fast. And that actually gives reason for our backup power. Uh, okay, I will go here. Maybe we can get a little bit more scrap and then go there. <clears throat> okay, we'll fight one more rebel ship and then we'll go into the final boss battle. Uh, mm -hmm. I will send out... I I've never... Guys, I never lose. I never lose this game. Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about me. Can we turn on backup power in like three seconds? Turn on backup power, power up these two. Artemis is ready. Okay, we will start hacking them and then we would shoot them in the face. Okay, now we cloak. See, look how nice it is to be cloaked for that long. It doesn't let them charge up and we get another volley in against them. That's very nice. Don't question it. Ooh, that's good. See? Good decision making at work here. No, I have made zero mistakes this run or in any of my runs ever in the past. I never lose. <laughs> Look, I'm not even trying now anymore in this fight. Ah, everyone go back to your positions. Oh, well, that was amazing. And we got another 72 scrap out of that. The people are amazed by how cool you are. Ooh, very nice. Ugh. Uh, all right, I think I'll take two more power bars for the end. Do I even need that? Uh, that kind of makes my... Uh, maybe one more power bar just to keep my cloak online. Max piloting. Could be good in case we get into a tricky situation, that's true. Mm, 50 to 80 is pretty good. Uh, but I kind of am the big believer in the f in the strong offense. You've used one missile since you reached the final area. Oh, that's because we have that uh, augmentation that makes 50% uh, chance not to use missiles. That came very much in handy. Where is that? Here, this thing. Explosive replicator. I do like that one. If you're using... Especially if you're heavily using explosive weapons, that's very much, very much worth it. Uh, <laughs> just because you shoot enough missiles that it's going to be statistically worth it. Uh, I'm feeling like these two, though piloting is free. 
This is only if our pilot goes down. So far, we've had very good luck with our pilot not going down. You know, I did this with just level one the last time. It may be famous last words, but I'm just going to do this. Seven second disruption just might be... Or I could go for th level three cloak. 15 seconds of cloak. You know what? I'm just going to do this for the memes because I've never done it before. Although then I won't be able to afford to power it. Can you imagine 15 seconds of cloaking, though? That's so OP. I want to try it. I'm going to do it basically against my better judgment, but yeah. It just, it's such a long time. It's going to work. Um, okay, I think we can just go to the base now and wait for them, right? Yeah. It just seems like such a long time. Okay, we will go to the base and wait. Okay, and now we just wait. Okay, final fight. Get ready. Place your bets. Okay. We have an insane cloak ready. Okay, so they're going to hack us. The first big question is, where do they hack us? Uh, I'm not going to put on backup power yet until we're ready to cloak. Okay, they're going to hack our hacking. That is unfortunate, but honestly not that bad a system to get hacked. I think right now what I want to do is turn on my backup power, double up on cloaking. Oh, that was kind of a chance that I just took. I'm going to turn on our cloaking so that we can send our cloak, or that we can send our hacking onto the enemy ship. And maybe still keep that system. I'm not sure if this is going to work, though. I'm going to try to hack their engine again, because that's worked out really well for us. Now we've sent out <laughs> we've sent out our hacker. Um, I'm going to wait until my things are just about ready to stop charging. Oh, darn it, I missed it by half a second. Okay, I just lost the fight. I just totally lost. The fight is lost. It is over. The game is finished. I am sorry. Rip. F. F's in chat. Uh, the game is over. I am sorry. Although their hacking should run out in a, in a second, and we will be able to hack them as well. What happened to our hacker? Actually, we just want to kind of kill the guy in their missile room. That's like the most important thing to do in this fight. Honestly, this could be very bad. This could be extremely bad, although they just basically did a pretty dumb thing themselves. Uh, I don't like this at all. This is actually a horrible lineup for the first fight. And... Eh, all their ions missed. Well, maybe not all of them. Oh, good! Is that guy dead yet? Hang on a second. I, I have too many arrows targeting that room. Yes, he is indeed dead. Okay, I think we just won now. Uh, let's go for their lasers next. Laser. And I'm gonna just... No, I won't turn off our oxygen. I feel like the rest of this fight is just gonna be a joke now. Oh, whoops, I got only 10 seconds worth of cloaking. Alas. I mean, we won the fight. I don't have to worry anymore. It's over. We won. <laughs> As long as you just take out their lasers and their missiles in the first fight, like, it's over. They can't do anything to you. Although it's more fun to, like, board their ship and kill everyone from the inside. It's just a great time. We keep, like, seeming to lose. Okay, that guy's dead, so we're fine there. We don't even need to target that anymore. I guess we'll go after their ions now. I mean, they basically can't hurt us anymore. I guess we could still target their ions, though, right? Can they? Could they possibly somehow take out our shield and then beam us? I think we just, like, we won. Engineering is hard without oxygen. Board, yeah, boarding runs are way more fun, I think, just because you actually get to explore the interior of the enemy vessel. You just need to be careful where you're shooting from, because you could very easily shoot your own people. I think that, yeah, Artemis... Not using up missiles turned out to be like the silent killer this time. 
Although they're evading so much. Insanity. It's also nice because you never use up any of your own missiles. So it's just like stupid OP. Okay, I will turn that back on. I didn't even realize I didn't have that on. Not really coordinating my shots very well here. Uh, we're just using up too many missiles now, though. Okay, let's wait and do, like, one barrage of all of our stuff. The fact that they hacked our hacking was kind of annoying. Like, mildly upsetting is all. Could I somehow do this? Nope. But they've got only three health left, so we're fine. More or less. Yeah, even when they ionize our shields, we're okay. I'm just gonna stop shooting Artemis and wait for this to work. Okay, and in five, four, three, two, one, good. Okay, cool, now we got all our shots off on them. And I'm just being impatient now. Let's just have the rest take them out. Cool, all right, phase one over. Not honestly that bad. Uh, and we did get another missile and some scrap from it. I forget that you get that from the boss fight. Save the drones, they keep just blowing up if we send them out. Yeah. We'll need, like, only, I think, two more for the last couple of fights, so we should be okay as far as that goes. Now I might put more into the piloting. Or did we have enough power for that? Hang on a second, let me just see how our ship recovers. So the three power was normally going into three on the shields. Hey, Anger Management, how you doing? Hey, long-time viewer and friend, Anger Management. Thank you very much for the raid. Holy what were you guys smoke, playing? 13 months. That's more than a year. What well, were you guys playing? Let me give you a quick shout-out. Hang on a second. Thank you for the raid, man. How's it going with you? What were you guys playing? Uh, give me a second. We are just getting to, like, the end of an FTL. Ooh, Endless Dungeon. Ah, like another throwback. Ah. Hey, thank you very much for the sub, too, my friend. I hope you guys had a good stream. Hmm. It seems we have reached a point where we need engine power. Although we can divert our backup battery there. Let's go ahead and do... We don't have a lot of money here, but we can put it toward... That turned out to be useless in this fight. Uh, sensors is kind of cool. Power use is, like, worthless. Uh, let's do... Honestly, piloting. Probably not gonna be useful here, but whatever. Uh, hmm. Okay, phase two of the fight. Phase two. The second phase has begun. We have entered the second phase of the boss fight. It is time to engage, uh, something. Who should- what should we hack now? They don't actually have hacking in the second phase of the fight, remarkably, as it is to say. Uh, I could hack their... drones. Those things are haywire, which is gonna be fantastic. That was actually a much better power-up than expected this time. Um... I think we'll go for this, and then we'll just try to shoot the drone department. Or we'll go for this, and then we'll go for the drone department. Drone department. There's no drone department? That's ridiculous. <laughs> okay, good. We've got that. Ah, no, I don't like that at all. Uh, leave the sensor room. And when our weapons are charged up... Okay, everything is ready to fire. Now we just shoot the hell out of them there. I'm going to cloak now. Ah, I missed the missile lock-on. Okay, I'm in... Perhaps I'm in trouble now. Oh, I completely forgot to do that. I have horribly messed up. We are all going to die. I'm sorry. Remember me as I was. Okay, take power off of that. Go into the med bay. Get some health care, man. But fortunately, yeah, we did disable their missiles. Okay, I think that this is arguably the hardest phase of the boss fight. The drones, just because of the drone swarm, which is insanity. Okay, you go into the healthcare room. I know he has, like, one health left, but take care of that. Uh, yeah, fire at their drones now. Ooh, this is the drone swarm. No one likes this part. A universally hated portion of the fight. 
Okay, get in there. Get some health care, man. Don't die. I need you, Howard, for the next part of the fight. Uh, oh no, my backup battery ran out. Uh, ooh. Uh, I'm using up too much power here. Ooh, that's horrible. Oh no, they've gotten through to the juicy underbelly of our ship. Um, we have taken out some of their drone power, though. That was useful. I don't know if I value the lives of my crew that much. Okay, we have two. We've taken out more drones. I need another hack. I need another hack before my next shot. Uh, uh, I think I want to take out their laser next. I'm just sort of firing everything haphazardly, though. Uh, hang on a second. I just need a moment to get organized. Okay, we're ready with another hack so that we can take down their evasion. Those guys are just sort of sitting there uselessly, whatever. Okay, one weapon online. Jesus Christ. Okay, oh, another border, my bad. Uh, yeah, it's the drones. Um, can't have any of you leave your positions. I'm gonna wait for the backup battery to do more cool stuff. I just wish I had, had more power for this fight. I was kind of impatient there. Uh, NG go into that room to help repair. We're about to get backup battery online. Okay, I think it's the time to hack, and then we go in for three shots on that. Cool, okay, we've taken out their lasers. Now we just have to worry about crew boarding in our ship. Turn on backup power, turn on that, turn on that. I can hardly even see anything. I'm just going to cloak because I feel like I have too much on my plate right now. Uh, will you die? No, you will not die, it seems. Okay, we're somehow going to beat this border. Uh, except Slugman, get back for some health care. And you get in there to help them out. And NG, go get some health care too. Whew. Uh, I've powered the med bay. Don't die, don't die. We just need to get that oxygen online. Okay, now we've taken down that sector. Oh no, we haven't fully taken that down. Let me coordinate these three shots because we're not going to have help from our hacker. Okay. Uh, everyone back to places. Maybe even power on my oxygen just to get that. No, I think that's fine. Uh, okay, hacking online. One, two, three, go. Big damage. Big. That's a lot of damage. Okay, good. Now we just take out the drones and then call it a day. Uh, still 16 missiles left, so that's plenty for the last five. Eee, drone swarm. I hate that. Ah, uh, God. Why? Go in there. Help him out. Help him. You go in uh, there for helping. No, we can't even do that. Never mind. Ezda. Okay, you're already getting health care. Good. Just the slug fighting him alone. Okay, I'm cloaking again because I'm afraid. Just shoot that, please. Finish him. Okay, go like that. Yeah, they, we really need some flex tape on this ship. That would really... <laughs> well, yeah, whenever it feels like too much, just pause. I hate doing that because it's not as much fun to watch it in the end, but, like, if you don't pause during these fights, you will die immediately. <laughs> and it, it is important to do that. Okay, turning off their evasion again, and good. Like, we haven't really been amazing at taking off their shields, but we've been doing enough other stuff normally, so... Okay, don't all die, crew. Woo! Nobody died! Okay, NG, go in there and repair, because you're good at repairing. And you go in there, because you're also helpful. Basically, everyone needs to get some health care now, and then we'll all be happy. Studios, game, TM... Okay, and we have a little bit more scrap to work with here. Uh, we did to sustain a little bit of damage. I feel like FTL has gotten a little bit more manageable now that I know how to do this final fight more. I think I could start to consider playing the game on a higher difficulty now. <laughs> or maybe with like a weirder ship. It's not really my preferred ship type, but... Hmm. The Zoltan ship is insanely powerful. Speaking of which...
They, you're right. They did have defense. That was worthwhile, though. The, you were right about the defense scrambler. That did come in clutch. You're right, Stigma Boy. Thank you very much for that. You were correct. I think we just needed more power in general for that fight, so I'm just going to buy another bar of it. Sweet. Okay, I think we're just about ready here. Uh, final phase of the fight. Now, they are going to mind control someone, so we don't really want to kill our own crew. But <laughs> we might have to. <laughs> Wouldn't that be wacky? Oh, cool, it's an NG. Uh, not exactly the NG I would have wanted to go bad, because now that scrambled our, uh, engines. Um, okay, I think, again, let's send out our hacking. Wait a minute. Oh, because they have the Zoltan shield, I still can't hack them. Uh, okay, then let's just mindlessly shoot at their missiles for now. And we will turn on our backup battery in a moment. Uh, we should be fine for just, like, killing them, though, because our crew has a lot of combat experience now. Oh, you don't, you don't want to go in that room, man. Cool. Cool. Okay, they've just shot their missiles. Let's go ahead and turn on our backup pa yeah, battery. Power... Ooh, look, the power sign gets even longer when you do that. I never noticed that. <laughs> Turn on our cloak when their missiles are being fired. Great. 101% dodge still. Okay, Studios is our engine boy. Do not let him die. Run away. You two go in there and try to kill the humans, please. Oh no, you're fighting our NG. Not what I wanted. This is a tricky fight. Okay, now I think we can go in with our hacking. Superior... Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, we still didn't get through. Okay, now we can go through with our hacking. Hack their engines again. Where is 16 times? 16 times, please. You're making a mistake. Don't do that 16 times. We have to take out their, like, mind control section. Okay, now I will hack. Let those things go through. Okay, I'm horribly mismanaging this. Ezda, get some health care. Uh, looks like their mind control is offline for a moment, and we're about to just take a big hit. Oh, that's horrible. Okay, this is bad. This is very, very bad. Their boarding really was not great here. Um, is anyone dead? I gotta stay paused for a minute. Take everything offline for just a second. Yeah, I don't like when our health care system is on fire. Shield boy, stay where you are. We want our healthcare system back online. Ezda is in that room. I can't take you off shields. I could take the captain off. How are you at fighting, slug man? No, I, you know what? I've got too many NGs in this room. This is bad. This is pretty bad. Okay, I'm going to take essential people off of their positions just for a second until I've got this figured out. You're going to die. Don't die. Just stand in there and don't die. That's your only job right now. Okay, slug guy, get out of there. I don't really know where to put you. Uh, okay, now we have three weapons ready. I just have to take this thing out immediately. Please, someone shoot that room. Okay, good. Their missiles are offline. We can't all die immediately anymore. Uh, everyone is almost dead. <laughs> what am I doing? Uh, go ahead and do that. Drain oxygen in the engine room. Oh, yeah. We, well, we've got the doors we've still got to handle, too. Here, you go ahead over there and put out the fire. I think shields are the only thing keeping us alive right now. You go in there. I've just got tons of people in, like, the waiting room for healthcare right now. No, I gotta keep that online. Okay, good! Finally, you reached level th 2 in shields. Amazing. Uh, oh no, now we're being mind-controlled again. Being mind-controlled in our own infirmaries. Ironically, not so bad, though. Uh, ooh, you are almost dead. Hang on a second. Go, cloak. Hack them again. 
And go burst. Uh, hang on a second. I need to do all these at once. Burst laser. Wow, how did we avoid all of that? Amazing. <laughs> that was incredibly amazing. Uh, okay, help him put out the fire. Don't die. You go in and get some health care. Hopefully you won't die. Okay, I think we're saved. We don't want to take out their whole crew, otherwise they start auto repairing. Uh, Ezda may actually die here. Hang on a second. Just stay in there and heal. Okay, whatever. You aren't an essential crew member. I'm sending everyone back to their posts. Even if you die, whatever. You you died for us. Hang on a second. Okay, no, that's still only at orange. Oh, no, we're going to take a big barrage here. Uh, yeah. Oh, no, Ezdo was supposed to be on doors. Hang on a second. No, don't just walk in there. Never mind. Okay, finally, your mind control is over. Uh, this is such an annoying fight. Okay, and we've got all of their missiles and we're saved. I think this one's just going to be an easy cleanup now. It's just our own crew members. I want the moral victory. They aren't really even shooting us with anything anymore. We'll go for their shields. Keep as many crew members alive. It's just the name of the game now. Okay, fine. Destroy our backup battery. I don't really care. I'll cloak. Oh, you've turned back on the... Ugh. Oh no, don't destroy our oxygen. Please, wait. No, I actually do need that. <laughs> Why is this going so horribly? This is what happens when you don't really have any weapon strategy like we have for the vast majority of this run. Yeah, that was the weakness here, is I just have to fire everything at once. Okay, go back to positions, I guess, even if we aren't that healthy. Yeah, we're fine. Okay, final barrage, now I'm calling it. Go for shields. Sweet! Okay, we took him down. Now we can just leave everything on auto-fire. Phew! Jesus! So much mind control here. We really didn't get those last systems to seal a perfect victory. So it took us way longer than expected. Good. Kestrel Cruiser, check. Ugh. I think I'm getting better at this game. Not that I'm very good at it to begin with, but... Finally figuring out enough of the strategies with, like... Good RNG. As long as you don't get just Garbo RNG, you'll be fine. Yeah, well, you don't want to totally take out the enemy crew for that last fight. Otherwise, they will start to, like... <laughs> the ship will automate itself and start repairing itself, which is quite scary. And I forgot that they also give themselves back a, Zo a Zoltan shield if you don't do it. Woo! Yeah, I can catch another amphibious Got in the end once after you've had the game for four years. I find this game super replayable. Very fun. Maybe will get me away from my Magic the Gathering addiction, but that's also very much fun and worthwhile. Sport Nugget, thank you very much for the sub. Appreciate you coming out too. Yeah. Man, I love FTL. I'm glad you guys. Uh, I'm glad you guys like this game too. I hope if you don't know about this game, you discovered it. It's a great game. Uh, let's go back to the hangar. I kind of want to see my stats. Oh, I guess I'd been playing on normal. Yeah, I took the difficulty back to, on to easy for a while, uh, just until I clear the whole game. Because even on easy, it's rather difficult, but for me, the reason I play on easy partly is because, like, if I get a whole run and I don't get a win in it, I just kind of like, I, I like to post them when there are wins on YouTube. And also, the game is, is not that easy on easy. It's like normal difficulty on easy, it's hard on normal, and it's insane on hard, so there is that. 